Okay, so let's get on to our second part um, uh, of the lecture, um, which is uh, with Excel wings. Okay, so let me uh, pop that up right here. Okay, so this is number two. Um, let me scroll down a little more right here. Number two, which is Excel wings. Okay, so now we just learned about how to do uh, programming directly in Python itself, or excuse me, in Excel itself. So, um, you know, VBA is programming in Excel. Okay, but we spent the whole semester learning programming in Python. Could we instead um, use Python to talk to Excel? Okay, so instead let's use Python to talk to Excel. Um, uh, and that's what Excel Wings does. Okay, this is another module, okay? Kind of like NumPy or SciPy, it's not a, it's not related to NumPy or SciPy. It's a separate module, okay? Um, but it's a, it's a separate module that allows you to talk directly to Excel. Um, importantly, it's um, uh, only for uh, Windows or Mac. So if you're like me and you use uh, Linux a lot, it's not for Linux. So sad face, no Linux. That's okay. Can't really use Excel on Linux anyway, um, so that's maybe not that big a deal. But just to sort of point that out, okay? So um, just like I have a set of notes for Excel Wings, I, or for VBA, I have a set of notes for Excel Wings, a little handout. And the handout has a bunch of things that you can do. Um, and I'll just highlight a couple. We're going to spend less time on, on Excel Wings, but because uh, I think it's a little less complicated and, and you can figure it out a little more on your own. Um, but essentially you import Excel Wings and then what you can do is you can open a book, you can save and close a book, you can access different sheets, you can add new sheets, you can do all sorts of stuff in Excel Wings. You can um, assign, you can get data from the Excel sheet and go to Python. You can take um, you can go backwards. You can take a, a variable in Python and set it into an Excel sheet. Um, you can assign formulas. Um, you can make plots and then import the plots in Excel and put them on the screen. Okay. So again, um, some of these details are here. Um, the Excel Wings has documentation where they go into exhaustive detail about how to do all the things you can do in Excel Wings, which is very cool. Okay, um, and what I would advise you to do is pause the video for a minute and get yourself familiar with a little bit of the syntax here. So as I go through Excel Wings and Python, you're not going to be completely lost. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and then resume when you feel a little more comfortable. Okay, so hopefully you've, you've taken a minute to look at that. So let's take a second now um, and I'm going to move this guy back over here and I'm going to pull up my Python. Okay, and um, I'll have to be a little careful about my face um, over here, but let's uh, take a look at what's going on um, in the sheet here. So I want to do this example down here where we again calculate the same integral doing the trape uh, using the trapezoidal rule. Okay, um, and so let's look at this sheet up here. This is um, uh, an Excel wing sheet that you've got. Um, a Python code. And so at the top I have import numpy as np. I'm importing Excel wings as xw. Okay, you can import it however you want, but I like xw because it's nice and, and short. Um, and I'm importing from scipy.integrate trapz. So we didn't learn trapz, we learned simps, uh, but trapz is basically uh, the trapezoidal rule version of the integration function um, that was just like simps, but simps is better than trapezoidal rule, so we learned that one instead. Um, I'm going to make a plot down here in a minute uh, of an interpolating function. So I interp 1D, I, I import that, and then the plotting tools. Okay, so a bunch of things I import. So the first thing I do here, okay, is I open the workbook or, or I make a workbook variable called excelwings.book and I have to give it the name of this guy right here. Okay, and so notice these are actually in the same directory. So here's my directory um, right here. 
okay? And I have this Excel Wings editable right here, and then the one I just barely saved, which is this uh, heat capacity editable XLSM, that's the thing I just barely saved right there, okay? And then I can uh, have a sheet, so I need to go into that workbook, right, and there's different sheets, and the sheet name is right there, sheet one, all right, and so sheet one is now that variable. And then if I want to make an array, I need to go and do something similar to what I did in VBA. So I go to the sheet, I say sheet.range, I give it the range that I care about, so x is going to be from A2 to 34, and y is going to be from B2 to 34, okay, and then I want the value from that, not the formula, not the formatting, not anything else, I want the value, and I make that into a numpy array. And now I have two arrays, x and y, and what I can do is find the quadrature by just calling trab z y comma x, all right? So let's run it to that point, okay, just to see what happens. So I run that, and I'll scroll up here so it's not hiding my face, and you can see it gives me a value, 55856, uh, point 0.4, okay? Um, well, that's a little different than this one. Maybe we made a mistake. We'll have to go back and check that one and see what we screwed up, okay? Um, but let's come here and look. Now what I can do is I can say sheet.range j14. So j14 is right there. And I can say dot value. I want it to equal quad, okay? So I'm going to run that. And now what happens is the value appears in my book, okay? That's pretty awesome. So that's pretty cool. All right, so what did we do? What we did was we read data from the sheet, then we put them into arrays, and then we called our function in Python, and then we put it back. So this is pretty nice. What you can do is if you had something complicated in Excel, all right, and you had a bunch of data, and you wanted to use this Python function, you don't have to recode anything, you don't have to want to mess with VBA, you could come over here, import it, put your stuff, push it back to Excel, and now your Excel sheet has the new value in it, all right? Um, there is also a way uh, to, to take your VBA functions, uh, you know, and then call Python code from there. Um, I'm not going to cover that. That's uh, more complicated than I want to go into, but that's also uh, possible. I've seen uh, that done before. Okay. All right. So the last thing I'm just going to show you here um, uh, is uh, <clears throat> how to um, take a... Uh, you know, something else that you want to do. So here I'm going to make a cubic spline, make a plot, okay? And we, just to sh kind of show you some of the cool things you can do, you can add a picture, um, uh, an image of, of that plot, and add that into the thing, okay? So that's part E here, make a spline and plot the figure using matplotlib, import that figure into Python. So when I run that piece, lo and behold, this picture pops up right here, okay? And this is a matplotlib plot, it looks just like it, okay? But this is just a picture that I've added in now, um, you know, it's, it doesn't have axes or anything. It's a picture that's been imported um, of that plot that I made here. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really quick. I want to, I'm, it's bugging me what we missed um, here. So let's look at that. Let's see if we can figure out what we did wrong um, in our uh, Excel problem before, and figure out where we screwed up in quad. Um, we missed something, didn't we? Delta x over 2. I don't know what we missed. I'll go back and fix it. I'll put it in the, in the notes or I'll cut this part out. Um, but let's just finish up here then in our, in our last little bit. Um, so the last little thing I'd like you to do is, is to do a practice. And I'd like you to, again, write the dot product function so that you get 32. But instead of writing the dot product function in VBA, write the dot product here, okay? You can just use numpy dot dot, but you're gonna have to import the, the values from these ranges here, okay? Use numpy dot dot to do the dot product and then push it back um, so you can put it in this box right there, okay? So those are, um, there is a key up for this as well um, that you can look up how to do that. So this is, I'm just gonna to close out the video here. Um, you know the answer already, the answer is gonna be 32, okay? Um, but why don't you go ahead and um, uh, take a minute and, and figure that out as soon as the video closes so you can make sure you have some practice with Excel Wings, okay? So this is uh, how to integrate Excel and Python together. 
um, using, on the one hand, Visual Basic applications where you can just directly program. Uh, uh, and so I guess you don't even need to integrate Python there. You can just directly program in VBA, but it's kind of clunky and kind of painful. Or you can program in Python um, and then have it interact with your Excel sheet through Excel Wings. Um, and as I said, this is a little bit of a survey topic. Um, I know I, I zoomed through a bunch of things really quickly here, um, and I don't expect that you know how to do all of this. I don't expect you to be able to use Visual Basic uh, for applications the same way we use Python the whole semester and do anything in it. Um, but you can see the things that I'm expecting for this particular course uh, in, the, in the notes, um, uh, the review sheet that I've posted online. Okay, um, so with that, I'll, I'll thank you for your attention and uh, wish you a good one.